I'm not smiling because of the date. I'm just smiling because after 30 years, you guys still remember, and that's, that's great. God bless Steve because he was a Marine. God bless because he was an alumni of Boys Republic. And God bless he was the toughest guy in town. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. How would you define Steve McQueen in three words? Authentic, honest, and a hell of a lot of integrity. My dad grew up on the street and uh, he, he could read people very good. Half jokingly, he would used to say to me, don't trust anybody. Pretty much right, wasn't he? I learned so much from him, standing up for what you believe in, not giving in, if you believe in it. And honesty was a, a, was a big lesson. I learned not to bullshit him. And that's the way that he taught me and my sister to approach life. You know, you can do anything as long as you do your homework. One, two, three. Cheese ball! <laughs> been really my whole life cars of course bullet I mean that was just mind-blowing I remember seeing the that shot in the car going down the hill the Mustang I was just mind-blowing you know I mean everybody in the theater and then Le Mans uh, being around all those race cars the Porsche 917s the Ferrari 512s the Machas the Lolas it burnt something in my heart and soul uh, forever you know I love cars man there's an order uh, the three Jaguars, the Mustang, the Porsche. Okay? Well, thank you so much. I hear all the time from, you know, Bullet was my first movie, what an impact it had on me, or Junior Bonner, or The Getaway. A lot of people try to, to emulate it today, and they can't do it. They fall short, you know? You need to go look at his work, you know? Yeah. The young kids, and it'll make sense to them, you know? They'll understand how cool is that. To this day, they call him the king of cool. We made it, okay? We want you, all of us here, represents the great seal of the city of Los Angeles, which all of us are here for your dad, this commendation of this memorial sign, Chad. Yeah! Yeah! My dad got abandoned by his mother and had nowhere to go. And uh, my dad always cites a Boys Republic with turning his life around. They put him in there. It's really the last stop before you get thrown in, into the big house. He never forgot. Uh, so we're still very involved in, in that program. Uh, we do a car show every uh, first week in June to raise money. It's a wonderful program, and I'm happy tonight that we have uh, Max Scott, who's retiring after 40 years of service there. He's in the audience tonight, and uh, uh, a few chosen uh, uh, students. The movie business is still the best in the world. I guess everything changes, but I feel fortunate enough that I grew up seeing that era of people, uh, the actors my dad worked with, the directors. I was, I was in very uh, rarefied air. When my dad passed, you know, geez, uh, all of a sudden he was gone, you know, and. I had to grow up very fast, and I was getting hit with a lot of stuff, a lot of decisions. That's when I was able to implement his lessons. You know, that's when I started to grow up. And all right, I get, you know, I see what he's doing here. He was a fighter, man. He never stopped fighting, ever. That's enough. Another lesson to be learned. Really what I want to do is to thank everybody uh, for coming here tonight uh, after 30 years to honor my dad like this is, is, uh, is really something. So thank you guys very much and uh, have a course light on my dad tonight. Mm -hmm.